That's that's see one, two, three. There's all big cystic go through so, so, so we're gonna call this one maybe like uh, an F3 and a C4. There's some animals that are what are called induced ovulators. An induced ovulator is is set so that she does not waste her eggs. I think rabbits, cats, um, they're not all induced ovulators, but rabbits are, that's why so many rabbits. So they produce a clutch of eggs, but they do not ovulate them unless they are physically mated. So they just save them until there's a male around, so they're very efficient, they never waste them. So these ladies tend to be that way. They produce a clutch of eggs, they get big, follicles get big, they're all ready to go, there's no male, and then so they just hold on to them. The next, next couple months later, they produce another clutch of eggs, and then another clutch of eggs. So you get an ovary that should be that big, or all of a sudden it's that big. And because they think they're pregnant, they're, so they're getting mixed signals all the time. Just let her do her thing, because she's going to do what she's going to do. Okay, she settles. There you go. So, see, she's got a huge uterus, too. Oh, you're the So you're looking at liver there. These, these animals, all elasmobranchs are huge, have huge livers. And they, 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 have, they don't have fat like I do, you know, the love handle stuff. You open even a really rotund one up, there's no fat. It's all the fat is stored in the liver. So they have the huge livers. There's your spiral valve. The 